myofascial release is essentially about creating better gliding between layers within the body, superficial to deep. So if we talk about the pec, the chest muscles, we've got a little pec minor muscle that attaches to the shoulder blade at the back and then comes through to the ribs at the front. And then we've got the pec major that comes over the top. Now, when this guy is really short, it brings us into this pattern here. And when these guys are stuck together, it doesn't allow the shoulder blade to move forward to back in a functional action, crowding the shoulder joint. So with my fascia release, we will pin one layer. So it will be like, I'll use my hands to glide on a layer and then ask for movement to get the layers to glide and open up. Then through movement alone, for instance, if you're just doing a chest press or a push up, you won't get much gliding between these layers. And if you're just doing that sort of exercise, you are, you may have a tendency to go into a rounded shoulder position. So we want to still get tone in these muscles, but create length at the same time. One way of doing that is by using a TRX or an elastic like this and then just going into a stretch and the first easy way to create a myofascial release is just to breathe. So if I'm breathing through the diaphragm, creating a small amount of movement in those ribs, it allows these two chest muscles to move at slightly different rates. So when they move at slightly different rates, they can release more. The other way of doing that is to move in different planes. So if we take the elastic again, it could be just to move forward upwards, holding in a stretch and moving these arms upwards and downwards, getting the shoulder blades into different positions and creating those movements. And again, we're creating a gliding.